I can't fight it. Give me back! Burn with me. Honestly, these just blew my mind. You know that thing below your nose, your body, the one you've had for almost your entire life. What do you know about it? I mean, if I were to ask you the very simple question, where does your body dump the heat when you exercise? I mean, I'll be honest, I just expected the body to generally heat up with maybe some localized heating where the muscles were actually doing the work. But boy, was I wrong. So before you go any further, pause this video and write down in the comments below what you think is going to happen. But don't hit post yet, because not only did I get it wrong, but everyone who responded to me on Twitter and a previous YouTube video also got it wrong, which is remarkable if you think about it. No one knew how their body, the one they've had for almost their entire life, would dump the heat. So just for yourself, write down what you think it's going to look like, what your body would look like if you were to film it with a thermal camera during 20 minutes on an exercise bike. Honestly, it blew my mind. Okay, so what you've got here is the human body in the infrared, and what I'm going to show you is how the body actually dumps the heat when it's doing exercise. So, I mean, this is the more or less at rest body, you know, the head and the shoulders, they're actually putting out quite a lot of heat. And you even see where my, I've got some fat here, because it's, it's really quite well insulated compared to the, the belly button there. Anyway, so what I've got here is an exercise bike, and I'm going to do some pedaling on this. And I got three zones set up here. The one here is for my head, which is, is, is kind of the hottest at the moment. The next one down is my body, and that, that's the hottest spot in it there. And that down there is for my ow. Oh, 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 down there is for my legs. Oh, right. <laughs> so now I'm gonna do some exercise. Okay, so let's see how my body heats up. Initially, I start pedaling and then I start looking at my arms. Right? My arms. My arms are, are getting colder. And it's like, I, I keep on thinking that can't be right. There must be something wrong with the camera. There's a thermal drift on it or something. But my arms just keep getting colder and colder and colder. Then something weird starts happening. It's like, huh, there's been little spots on my arms. I'm in my hands and eyes are more now. Oh, my arms, they're getting blotchy. It's getting blotchier and it's growing. It's like, what the hell is going on with my arms? And, 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 and then you look closer and you can start to see the blood. You can see the blood moving through the veins. And they just get hotter and hotter and hotter until this sort of almost all the heat is being pumped out from the arms. Here we are coming up on 20 minutes of exercise. Two minutes. Whew. Okay. That'll over 22 minutes. Oh. See, there's a bit of insulation. Man, well, this is the amazing thing. Just how much heat is dumped through the arms. I mean, the hands is easy. That's. <laughs> they're, they're, they're holding on to something, but the arms are the bit that's incredible. I just never expected that the arms would be the principal radiators of heat. I mean, that's the legs. I mean, that. They're kind of a. Uh, actually, it's interesting. I seem to. Uh, <laughs> they're hotter now. Oh, I just, oh man. <sighs> cool, eh? Oh, and the fingernails. Fingernails always get good circulation. Never really worked out why. Oh. 
It's not bad. But the arms, they're just incredible. You can see all the, the bloody pattern where the blood's coming to the surface. It's in, incredible. <sighs> so that was really cool. Actually seeing the blood pumping through the arms. The thing is, reproducibility is a big thing in science. I decided, hey, next day I'll do it again. But this time I'll go up close and personal on the arm. So again, the body starts out fairly nice and toasty and warm, and even the wrists are, man, they're okay. But almost straight away, the, the heat starts coming out of the wrists and the forearms. You can see it now sort of draining out of, of the arms. And by about the six minute mark, the arms and the body have almost gone completely blue. And almost straight after that, that's when the blood and the heat starts coming back to the hands and the forearms and the fingernails start glowing red and the forearms are glowing red and the palms especially although you might think that's just because they're holding on to things and then you just stop and watch the body naturally cool down and now you can see the blood where it was pumping through and heating stuff is now actually pumping through and cooling things so I was kind of interested in whether it really was the fact that the hands were holding on to the handlebar that was making them hot. So in the next one, what I did is I just had my hands outstretched. They're not actually grabbing on to anything. And I also want you to watch what happens to my mouth and nose and the front of my face here, because that's getting colder and colder and colder here. Now you can see the blood all leaching out of my arms again. The palms of the hands, they've got really hot. But they, you see the blood's coming out of the out of the arms and the front of the face now is now really cold. Now this is just the camera weeding out because it hadn't quite thermally equilibrated. So don't worry too much about that, it'll settle down eventually. And now this is the incredible thing. Now you can see that my hands are all outstretched and you can see that the blood's coming to the fingernails first. The palms of the hands, they're really hot. So that's the amazing thing, is the palms of the hands act like massive radiators. They get really hot, even when the hands haven't been grabbing and holding on to anything. So it's the palms of the hands and the forearms are the bit that's radiating all the heat here, whilst the inside of the forearms and the back of the hands, eh, not too much. And then of course at the end I just take a break and you can see all this blotchy stuff. I'm trying to hold my hands out here. It's actually quite hard to hold your hands up like that after you've done 20 minutes of cycling. Now sure it's possible that I'm just a freak like this, but probably not. The only way to be certain would be to film other people doing this. Although the principal problem there is going to be asking some guys and girls if I can film them almost naked on an exercise bike for about 20 minutes or so. You know, for science. Because that's the sort of thing that might be subject to misinterpretation. But hey, nothing fails like never trying. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this and found it as mind-blowing as I did. And watching the blood and sweat that I literally put into making this video. And I really thank all of those who actually contributed to getting this camera through an Indiegogo crowdfunder and to the very generous folks who support this channel through Patreon.